morning everybody it's Michaela from Hooked in a Flash if you'd like to follow me you can find me on Instagram at Hooked in a Flash uh, Facebook at Hooked in a Flash Crochet and then I do have an Etsy uh, page that you can go on and buy my patterns at Hooked in a Flash <clears throat> today has been a crazy what is that? sorry I just seen something run in front of my window crazy morning so far. I almost got bit in the face by a huge dog, but I saved myself. I'm good. I'm still a little shaky from it, but I went out, bought myself a coffee as reward from not dying. <laughs> uh, I cut animal nails is one of my jobs, so uh, the dog was a little, a little anxious about getting his nails done. Um, Let's start with finish objects today. I did it. I finished it like an hour and a half after I recorded my last episode. Oh, today is episode 10. <laughs> it is Wednesday the 12th, maybe 12th. Sounds good. <clears throat> Tonight is knit night. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping and praying that I can get to knit night this week. I've missed like a month of knit night and it's really, really sad for me because I love knit night. I love seeing all the people there. I'm really, really hoping that I can go. Excuse me. Everything's looking like I can go. We'll see if it keeps going. So here's my hat. I really love it. None of the yellow for some reason is showing up. It has really bright yellow in it, but for some reason my camera is not picking any of that up. I have a bright yellow stripe here. There's some up here. Is it picking up a little bit better? Now I just look like a weirdo. <laughs> All right, but my hat is done. I'm making two more, one for my daughter, one for my husband, so that we all have matching hats. My son has one that I showed you last episode. The next thing that I completed, how cute is he? This is from the Bernat Blanket Yarn from Yarnspirations. I just went ahead and separated it into the colors and then made this little guy out of it. I really like him. I think he's cute. This is a Christmas present, but the person it's going to is eight months old, so I don't think that this is a big spoiler for him. <laughs> so I thought I could show you guys. But I do have the pattern. I need to write it up and post it. I'm not sure. <clears throat> how to post it though. Maybe you guys have suggestions for it because what I did was, like I said, I separated all of this Bernat blanket yarn into the four different colors. I don't have any more of this. It used all of that one, but I have leftovers of these. Um, so maybe I can make something else with it. I don't know. <clears throat> and then make it like a set with that Bernat yarn. So that you use all of your your yarn maybe um i'm just not 100 percent on how to write it up to i guess you i mean you'd have to separate all your colors and then go that way i'm not sure i'll figure it out though if you guys have any suggestions on how to write that or if you guys think that i should make something else with the rest of this yarn because this is the rest of it and then i could sell it as a set you know, you bought this yarn. You don't know what to do with it. Here's an idea. <laughs> uh, maybe that'll work. But this little raccoon is going to my nephew for Christmas. I think he'll like it. It's very soft. The yarn itself is nice so far as a toy. I haven't washed it or anything like that. But it feels good, you know. It's a nice soft toy. Um, it's not my favorite thing to work with, to be honest. Easy to use. I used a size K uh, crochet hook. It's easy to crochet with. It doesn't split, obviously, or anything like that. Um, but when you're trying to tie it off and stuff, and I always knot my stuff. I always tie a knot at the end just for extra security because most of my stuff, like 98% of it, goes to uh, kids as so gifts. You know, I, I make a lot of toys. And I want to make sure that it's extra, extra safe for them. 
So I always knot and then I always weave through as well. <clears throat> and this stuff breaks so easy. It broke, I broke it just making this four or five times. Uh, and I wasn't, at first I thought that I was just pulling too hard. I'm like, well, I need to, you know, take myself back two seconds and just calm it down. But it wasn't really me. It was breaking pretty easy. So I'm not sure how well this will hold up in the long run. We'll see. My little man, my little nephew will be a, uh, a good tester for it because he's <laughs> active with his toys. So we'll see how it goes. If it doesn't go very well, I will make those notes in the pattern. Um, if it breaks easy or something like that, I'll make those notes in the pattern just to let everyone know that, hey, this isn't the strongest yarn in the whole world. If you have a child that is super intense with their toys, maybe not make this one for them. <laughs> Use a different yarn. <laughs> so we'll see. <clears throat> That's it for completed projects. I have done, actually, I'm so excited. So on my phone, I have this list of families that I need to complete their presents for. And I've completed two families now. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, so I got to check those off. It was very, felt very good for me. I'm very satisfied. I am making right now one more and then my third family is done. I'm hoping to finish that today or tomorrow and then that family is done and then I only have um, four more families to complete it's really not that much so I'm very excited I'm excited that I'm finally seeing checks on all the families off you know because I really really want to have December for my family to make gifts and decorations and stuff for my family for Christmas so we'll see how it goes um, so I'm going to go into works in progress, which I do have a bunch out there, but again, Christmas presents and a lot of them are older um, family members that I can't show because it'll spoil Christmas. So don't want to do that, <clears throat> but I do have a pair of socks out there that I can't, um, I can't decide if I like the fabric or if I'm making it too dense. It's a thicker fabric. I'm making them as just house slippers for my husband or house socks, I guess, for my husband. And the I'm using 2.25 millimeter knitting needles. And it just feels really dense. I don't know if it's gonna stretch or not. I don't know if I should keep going and see how it fits on him or if I should just pull out and try again with a larger needle. I haven't decided quite yet. So I set it to the side for a minute and then think on that when I wake up a little bit more today. Uh, so I'm not sure about that one. So that may keep going. That may just stop. I'm only like this far in uh, on the uh, toe. I always do toe up. I'm not a real fan of cuff down. I've made cuff down. You've seen my uh, Halloween socks, in fact. I'm wearing them <laughs> um, and I love them I really love my socks I do not like doing cuff down uh, because I cannot try them on I made these ones they should have been maybe like two rows longer it still fits and everything like that but I feel like they should have been like two rows longer to fit my foot a little bit better also wearing these I've really it's really solidified the fact that I'm not a big fan of long socks I like the look of them but I'm not really a big fan of the long socks so I don't think that I will be making more of them unless I really just get a wild hair to make another one we'll see so stuff I am making I have made quite a bit of progress on the over the arm caddy. I'm not really sure what it's called. It's a caddy to go over the arm of your couch or your chair to hold your like remotes and stuff like that. I have made 
one large um, pocket because she likes to read so she'll have her book and then two smaller pockets for a remote and miscellaneous whatever else she wants maybe she has two remotes I don't know so I've done the back side all the way up it's all tied in and everything and I just need to knit 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 until it's long enough to go over the arm of her chair and tuck down into her couch and that's it so I like the way that that's turning out I really like the color change I think that's fun I think it's gonna start turning this light color again soon so that'll be kind of fun because that'll be on top of the couch um, yeah I like it I think she'll like it that'll be going with me to knit night tonight if I go I don't see why I shouldn't be able to go but if I go that's what I'm gonna do and I'm using I know this is not a project bag but it's a purse that my friend gave me that's just open and it's kind of nice I like it it's kind of fun just to throw it in and go it's in it all be, excuse me oh my gosh I drank the coffee way too much this, or way too fast this morning so now I'm jittery and I have the hiccups talking to you guys Woohoo! this will be my best video yet it stands up really well <laughs> so I like it the next thing um, so that's it for works in progress progress that I've done. I'm trying to really just buckle down and get the rest of my stuff done. So I know that these next few videos will look slim for you guys, but I really am working hard, getting a lot done. I'm going to have to split my other one, my Christmas episode, into two, I think, at this point, because I just have a lot of stuff to show you guys. <laughs> we'll see. So stuff that I brought into my house. First, I'm very excited for this. I'm not really a big pattern follower, but I like to look at stuff for ideas. Um, just new things, you know, I can get a new stitch from this or, you know, a new edging or, you know, anything like that. So I do like to pick up the books, but I picked up this at Goodwill. I'm always at Goodwill. Knitted Comfort for the Soul. It's all slippers and socks, all knitted. And I love them. I want to make these ones except for they make it with that fuzzy yarn I don't think I'm gonna make it with the fuzzy yarn but I like it I think it'll be fun to follow through and look at oh, these are so they're so gross but I just <laughs> sorry you guys maybe this isn't weird maybe it's just me it could be you can comment down below and tell me maybe I'm just being weird these socks right here if it stops me it's for your to put on your flip flops so it, <laughs> you can put one on your big toe and then the rest of it goes on the rest i think it's so weird i just think it's so so weird but um i'm just gonna see if i can find the actual thing i just think it's the weirdest thing ever maybe it's not weird though maybe it's super common and it's just me so let me know in the comments down below i just found it let me see if I can find the picture. Yeah, here's a better picture of it. It's just, everything's going to just... <laughs> it's just... It looks like a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> oh, I feel like, I don't know, it's just weird to me. But it's a fun book. I'm excited that I picked that up. I think it was like $2, so worth it for me, big time. The next one I picked up, I know this thing's a big mess. <clears throat> but this is Lion Brand Pound of Love. This is coming up a little more blue than it is. It's more of a blue jean blue. But this is coming up a little bit more blue than what it is. Um, Pound of Love soft sweater. Or a soft material. It is 1,020 yards and it is 100% premium acrylic. I'm going to make my husband a lounge sweater just a normal uh, raglan sweater for him to throw on when he's around the house. So I'm going to make him with that. I picked it up because at um, Michael's they had a big sale going on and stuff like that. They have, they have so many sales going on and they really need to stop because I can't buy any more yarn right now. It's just ridiculous. Especially on the sock yarn. Like, come on, Michael's. Slow it down. I can't. Okay? I can't. 
The next thing that I have, and it's my most favorite thing, is my mom. I know that I posted on Instagram and Facebook, but my mom gave me my Christmas present early. <gasps> Look at it! It's so cute! It says, I love yarn and dogs. It's backwards for you guys, isn't it? <clears throat> it's so cute. It's a yarn bowl. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's by Linny Mud. Boop. You can find him on Instagram. He um, He's on Instagram. I he found it on there. You can buy it at a lot of different yarn stores, but you can also buy it on... You can contact him and buy it through there, too. He has, like, cups and, you know, like, mugs, yarn bowls, plates, and all that fun stuff. And he writes all sorts of fun uh, stuff. Some nerdy stuff on there, too, if you're into, like, nerdy stuff. Like Legend of Zelda. <laughs> but I absolutely love that yarn bowl. I think Mom nailed it on the head with that one. <laughs> uh, so, but... That's all I have for you. I know it's a short video, and I know that I am jittery and talking 50,000 miles a minute, so I'm sorry about that. Like I said, I still am feeling the adrenaline from the dog, literally. It was a huge... Uh, now, I just want you guys to know, I do not care about breeds. Um, any dog can bite, so do not feel like I am picking this out. Um, just because I just want you to guys know so it was a pit bull I'm just saying it because of the head size coming at my face <laughs> it was literally right here I don't know how she missed me <laughs> but we got the muzzle on we got the nails trimmed she's the sweetest dog in the whole world when you do not touch her feet she let you do anything else in the whole world don't touch her feet <laughs> Uh, and that's my job every single month. So uh, today she got a little crazy and got out of my control. So, and you know, they're strong dogs. They're really, really strong dogs. So, uh, but we got it. We got it done. And she is a sweet, sweet girl. I don't want you guys to feel like I'm picking out the breed or anything like that. I just said it because I want you guys to know how big that sweet little girl's head is. <laughs> Um, and then the day before, I actually had, uh, another dog, an Anatolian Shepherd, which is a very large dog as well, uh, snap at me as well. So, my, this is not my week. I can go months and months and months without them snapping this week, too, in, in two days. That's crazy. Not my week. I should just throw in the towel this week, start again next week. Uh, but... So I'm still shaky from that is what I'm trying to get at. Man, I'm real good at rants today. And then I also had some coffee because I thought I needed to reward myself from um, doing nails this morning, I guess. <laughs> so I am sorry for the crazy rant today, but I hope that you guys liked my stuff that I made and I hope that you will join me again next week to uh, show everything else. Uh, yeah, I should be, I, I think that I'm sticking with Wednesdays for my, my um, uploading days. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, have a great day, guys. Bye.